Maya speaking. Ward died in the explosion. I have the box with me. Over. Fine. Now let's get to work on his girlfriend. The Japanese. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
It's up to you now. Mm -hmm. This time I want the girl alive. I've got a few questions to ask her. Gentlemen, here we have a practical example of the theories I have illustrated. Two weeks ago, the patient you see here, Miss Yashuko, sustained first and second degree burns on her face, as shown on the slides. They called me here from Edinburgh last week. When I saw this girl's condition, I decided to operate immediately, before scar tissue began to form. I'm glad to be back here in time to show you the results of this operation personally. Fantastic. She has one score. A miracle in plastic surgery, don't you think? A miracle, yes. The results are due not only to modern surgical technique, but also to an ancient Tibetan process defined as the hypnotic process of total recall. It differs from the usual hypnosis in that it allows us to operate with the complete surrender of the subconscious and thus obtain the patient's collaboration. Doctor, maaf kijiye. Main puchna chahta hoon ki aapke khayal mein yeh bahut hi nyayak aur hypnotic experiment yahan aur ab ho sakta hai. Dr. He Fung was asking me if it would be possible to make a demonstration of hypnosis of total recall. This experiment requires the outlay of a great deal of energy. Why don't you try it? No, no, not the young lady. Excuse me, doctor. I really thought that I was just whispering. Actually, it's my fault. I didn't hear you, but I am capable of lip reading. I would say the young lady is not an ideal subject for this sort of thing. She appears to have unusual willpower. I'm afraid it would take too long. However, we have Miss Yashuko, with whom I have already conducted experiments of the same type, and it would simplify things if Miss Yashuko would agree. Good, interesting. We'll see the results. It's a new treatment, all right. Gentlemen, please. Miss Yashuko has lost direct contact with time. Her life from the maternal womb right up to the present day is at our disposal. It can be totally brought back if we so desire, because every experience she has lived through has been registered on her subconscious, and with greater precision than the most highly developed electronic brain. Well, that'll be enough for now. What are you doing? Leave her alone. Hey, that could be fatal.
I hate to be interrupted when I give a lecture. Tommy, were you hurt? That man had a knife. What's it all about? All right. Really, it's impossible. This man is dead. Yes, unfortunately, I found myself distracted. So I used the sublime Atemi. It's fatal. Don't tell me, Doctor, that there's anything that would be able to distract you. Oh, yes. For instance, when a charming girl keeps gazing out of the window while a brawl's going on. It's your fault if my jaw is broken. Oh, I'm sorry, but what can I do to make it up to you? What do you suggest? I don't think you should look at me like that, Doctor. It's not fair. The Boatman of Beau Rivage. It is similar to the painter's better known work, Boatman's Picnic, which is in the Phillips Collection in the National Gallery in Washington, D.C. On the left, we see the painter's favorite model, the lovely Aline Cherigo. Commander Cunningham. Good evening. You're here to, I thought car racing was your only hobby. This is a sort of race too, in its own way, with its own thrills. The thrill of danger is missing here. Do you remember Monza last year? That awful accident? I do, yes. Terrible, wasn't it? And inexplicable. No, a car doesn't respond to commands anymore. The crash, men burning alive, and those are the risks they take. An accident just like that happened this morning at the Aero Club in Monte Carlo. 300,000. 300,000 what? Ah, there you are. Great as usual. This is Commander Cunningham, Mildred. How do you do? Let's go in. You never seem to remember. I have a family name, too. You listen to me, dear. You have your dresses and your diamonds. You have only those things I have given you. Do you know why I'm so late? It's because I just met the director of the Metropolitan Museum. He's here in Monte Carlo with the intention of buying the Perseus you want. That statue is mine. Nobody's going to take it away from me. It was created by Benvenuto Cellini in 1544 to obtain the commission for the full-scale statue now standing in the Loggia di Lanzi. This is a museum piece, and its starting price is $500,000. Isn't that a little high? When a thing of beauty is that perfect, it has no price. 510000 Thank you, Your Highness. 520 520 I bid 550 550 I bid $580,000. $600,000. 600000 Giving up there? Just waiting for the Gentlemen, bidding to warm up. $600,000 is not much for this masterpiece. Do I hear a higher bid? $650,000. Thank you, Mr. Rank. The there he now. is, the director of the Metropolitan Museum. The bronze statue, 650,000 once, 650,000 twice. 700,000. 710,000. 750,000. $900,000. Don't hold it against me, princess. It's really the only way to be sure you'll come to visit my villa. Mr. Thayer has offered $900,000. Do I hear a higher bid? Gentlemen, I am about to let I you go. I must be going. The show's over anyhow, isn't it? Congratulations. Mr. Thayer, you've won another round. $900,000 once, 900000 twice. 905000 $905,000. $905,000 once, $905,000 twice, and so for $905,000. Maya speaking, we're at the entrance. I'm about to start, get ready.
appears to me a clear case of self-defense. Wait until the judge gives his verdict. What else can you do? Don't forget, we have a corpse to deal with here. And Mr. Shuko has disappeared, too. Sorry, Doctor. I'll have to ask you to remain at our disposal until the investigation is over. How long will that take? We're moving as fast as we can, but please don't set foot outside the limits of Monte Carlo until you get the okay from us. But I have to go back to Columbia University. I have some operations that are waiting. I can't remain here indefinitely. Oh. oh. Your Highness. There's your man, Commander. Miss Yeshuka was right. You can see the resemblance. Think so? I'm not so sure of that, really. I don't think he's quite so good looking. Why do we shave the beard off? Just to make sure. The beard is mine. I'm attached to it. I want it to remain right there. And furthermore, I'd like to know what's going on here. I'm Cunningham, a valid counter espionage for Western Europe. This is Miss Maxwell, my assistant. You're the brother of our top agent. So I think we can trust you. that knife. Drop it, I said. Dr. Connery, would you look at that photo? It was in Mr. Shuko's bag. She said you know him. It's Ward Jones. He was planning to marry her. 
I met him when he took my course in hypnosis. The one I gave in Japan. A very capable chap. I saw Jones killed this morning. Ward's been killed? By the same people who tried to kidnap Yashuko. Luckily, she's back in our hands. Ward had important information he wanted to sell us. Unfortunately, he was killed before he got it to us. Actually, Ward asked us to protect Yashuko because he'd given her some secret information and he was afraid she might be in danger. Now, she denies this, absolutely. And I'm inclined to think she's telling the truth. But we can't find any explanation to this business. Then I'll explain it to you. Ward had learned a special yogi technique, quite complicated, but very effective. Briefly, it's very possible to communicate any data to a subject in a state of hypnosis of total recall. But the subject himself doesn't know he knows, but he would be able to repeat verbatim if he was again hypnotized to the same extent. But do you mean that's how Ward Jones... Precisely. It's clear Ward used Yashuko as a human electronic brain, a sort of impregnable safe to keep his secrets in. A safe that you know how to open, of course. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. I'll be too busy for the next few days. Why, Doctor? All you have to do is to walk around Monte Carlo for the next few days until the police decide to let you go. And if I help you out, you'll get me out. Is that what you mean? Freedom always has a price tag attached to it. He's had it. Poor guy. I've never seen a knife like that before. Well, let's see if there are any clues. Put it in the projector right away. He may have had time to get a photo. One of the most powerful gangs in the world. So they're mixed up in this, then. This is beginning to look pretty serious. Slipped. Gentlemen, Operation Blackmail is drawing to a close. To carry it through successfully, so that we may control the world's gold reserves requires unfaltering discipline. The center panels here represent the gold reserves of the six wealthiest nations of the world. And your respective duties are... to lure these six powers into our trap. You realize, gentlemen, that this is the greatest financial undertaking in history. And I do not intend to run the risk we did in Japan with our agent Ward Jones. Fortunately, Beta got back his documents and thus saved Operation Blackmail. But we still do not have the atomic nucleus. We require. I told you I would get it, but I need more time. You've had time enough. Oh, but Alpha, I have done my best. And you failed. You know what happens to failures. Ours is not exactly a philanthropic organization.
you're a fool. And fools are risky in this business. Much too risky. We have to get rid of them. Necessary measure, I trust you all agree. Well, gentlemen, you will all kindly proceed to the grotto to inspect the laboratory we have under construction there. It was a little silly to drink that water, don't you think? Huh? Well, what would you have done in his place? I would never be in his place. I'm not in the habit of losing. You sure? Anyhow, I think we'll run things better, just the two of us. Naturally. In that case, you can also take on Gamma's job for us. I want that atomic nucleus. Oh, oh by the way, I've an important piece of news for you. Cunningham is going to try to pull something in connection with the Japanese girl. He's enlisted the aid of that young Scottish doctor. You know, the brother of secret agent uh, Zero Zero. Yes, so I've heard. A most disagreeable family. Hmm. Congratulations. My congratulations. It's the first time I've met an opponent of your stature. Coming from you, that's a compliment. But as a matter of fact, I have little experience in this sort of competition. <laughs> One wouldn't guess so. I was wondering why it was that you and I had never met before. Oh, well, you know, I'm just an amateur. I participated just to have some fun. Actually, my passion is big game hunting in Africa. Oh, by the way, my name is Fair. And mine is Connery, Neil Connery. Dr. Connery? Oh, you're that great magician of plastic surgery. You can't imagine how I would have liked to be at your recent demonstration of hypnosis of total recall. What a pity you couldn't be present. It was quite a lecture. I understand, so from the news reports that I read. They said there was some excitement, I recall. Didn't a girl disappear? A Japanese girl? Oh, of course, she was your patient. Have they found her? I don't think so. I've had no word about her since. Nothing at all. How peculiar. And uh, is there no clue? Ah. Well, I'm so pleased to have met you. See you at the fine Right. Night. I'll be seeing you. Good luck. Thank you. Alpha rang you up twice. He wants to speak to you, says it's urgent. He didn't want to call you here. All right, I'll ring him up tonight. He said it was urgent there, and you know Alpha always uses the most appropriate words. He expects to get a call from you from the yacht immediately. <laughs> Alpha always interferes at the wrong moments. But this time, he's given me an idea. I'd better go phone him now. Shall I come along with you? No, stay here. I've ordered Mildred to flirt with Conry. Keep an eye on her. Do as I say. We all expect that you'll win the trophy again this year. Do you think that you will? I'll answer you in ten minutes. But frankly, I hope I don't. I have four cups now, and I find them all the same. As usual, you're very modest, Dr. Conry. <laughs> and as usual, you are very charming. Uh -huh. 
I don't understand why I didn't notice you out on the field. Ah, I hit myself. I didn't want you to shoot your arrow into somebody and say that it was all my fault. Listen, I'll be free in five minutes. I'd be pleased if you'd have dinner with me tonight. You owe me something for last time. Oh, I'm sorry, really. And don't try hypnotizing me. It isn't fair. <laughs> and you'll see. I'm sure there'll be another opportunity. Doctor. I've prepared the bow you wanted to try. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Wait for me here. That's your man. Can I talk to you a minute? Here. I have some good news. We've traced the Japanese girl. She's in Malaga. If you mean you want me to go with you to Spain, I can't accept the invitation. But it's a quick trip and pleasant. Sorry, but I won't play any spy games. If you let them snatch your shuka from under your nose, that's your fault. Wait a minute. You can't back out now. I have a cable from the Minister of Health, putting you under my orders for a month. That's an order, Doctor. Do I have time to change? Certainly. I'll be waiting in the bar for you, so hurry. You have a plane to catch. Have you lost anything? Yes. My bow. The button came off. A very thoughtful bow. Let me help you. Oh, thank you. It's very kind of you. You are? Any reward? <laughs> Come on, Doctor. You have a plane to catch. One second. There's a reward I must collect. You'll have to leave the account open. Max is waiting for you at the airport. Let's go. I hope I see you again. Well, that's odd. He should be here. I'm extremely sorry. The telegram just came and I left my dear little bride, Consuelo, and all of the other guests in front of the church. <laughs> because you see, Max, I'm getting married today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, but where is Yashuko? Uh -huh. At first sight, I took you for an azalea. What have you lost now? My necklace. Oh, it's so sweet to see you again, Doctor. Same for you. Dr. Connery, you're so very kind, as usual. My pleasure. I'm very kind by nature. I'll remember that. Why don't you remember it tonight? Hmm? Come on, Doctor. Sorry. Who's been here? The poor girl. She didn't have anything to do with this. But this is not Yashuko. 
What? She's a double, I tell you. A good double, but that's all. Are you sure? Positive. I know her pretty well. I've operated on her face. That means that they used her as bait to keep us off the track. If you want to find the real Yashuko and still alive, I have a feeling you'd better begin moving fast. Well, what have you lost this time? Oh, I've lost my lighter. Do you ever walk upright like other people? Oh. If I were a lighter, where would I go? Oh, there it is. Uh -huh. There it is indeed. There you are. My reward. You've got gorgeous eyes, you know. Oh, do you really like them? Very much. Now you will do whatever I want. And you will tell me everything I want to know. You have no will, and you must obey me. Who sent you here? Thanatos? Yes. Who was their chief? I don't know. Nobody knows. What are they planning? I don't know. Do you know where they have hidden Yashuko? Yes. In Lottie's villa near Malaga, just past the crossroad of Marbella. And is it heavily guarded? It's surrounded by a high-tension fence. And there's a machine gun, too. You know, you've got beautiful eyes, too. Well, well, well. It looks like nobody in your family is a rank amateur, hmm? Ah, and to think this was supposed to be my wedding night. I'm sorry to break up your little tete-a-tete, -tete, but we've received information that Yashuko is being held prisoner outside Granada. That's funny, the opposite direction. Who told you that? She told me. Mm -hmm. No, let her go. Or we might ruin everything. Stop now. It's all right. You can rest. Calm down. They've made you suffer, haven't they? How can they make such a pretty girl suffer like that? You mustn't be afraid of me. I'm your friend. We women understand each other, don't we? Here. Drink. It'll do you good. What do you want from me? I've told you I don't know anything. I really don't know anything. Why are you so obstinate? Why? We know that Ward confided something to you. It's not true. No, it's not true. It's not true. How many times do I have to tell you I don't know anything? How can I convince you? <laughs> if you talk, I shall reward you in a way you can't even imagine. You'll live with me. Like a princess. But I don't know anything. I swear it.
Is that darn thing going to work? If my calculations are correct, the short circuit should cause a return of current capable of blowing up the turret with the ammunition. something about Thanatos. Remember what I told you about Thanatos? Yes. Thanatos. Gamma has been assigned to steal an atomic nucleus. Good. What else did I tell you? Code 22. Bar 6. Two words. That one. in Tetuan. The blind work in Tetuan. The blind die in Tetuan. The blind? Try again. I'd hoped to get here before she talked. Perhaps I could have saved you. All right. What did you get out of your Shuko? Nothing much. Mostly in a sort of code. It must be deciphered. She spoke also of Tetuan. Something strange. The blind die in Tetuan. What else did she say to you? It seems that Thanatos isn't joking. They're planning to steal an atomic nucleus. Atomic nucleus? Why, that's not possible. Atomic nucleus, and only a jeep for an escort. <laughs> Oh, 
I'll sleep till morning now. All right, girls, get out of those clothes. <laughs> Now, let's get to work on the truck. Gentlemen, with his usual brilliance and imagination, Beta has secured the atomic nucleus we need. And so we are in a position to continue with our plans. Beta will now explain to you the experiments our technicians have been carrying out over the past few weeks. Gentlemen, I shall start by saying these are all just small-scale experiments, the results of which the authorities attributed to all sorts of causes. But now, with this powerful material at our disposal, we are at last able to generate ultra-high frequencies and to direct the magnetic wave to at least a third of the globe. All metals will be instantly affected the moving parts of machinery will fuse solidly. All dynamos will cease. Ships, planes, guns, tanks, armaments, everything mechanical will become a useless lump of metal. And in a few days, from our underground base, we shall have released the first magnetic wave which will completely paralyze over one-fifth of the world. And when the governments of the world realize that we mean business, they'll be glad to agree to our demands. The Tetuan Laboratory is on schedule. Excellent. Gentlemen, you will remain in contact with this base. I shall decide when to call zero hour. You will be advised. That young Scotch doctor's been getting a little bit too curious. He must be eliminated. I trust you agree? Entirely. I shall take care of it. All right. That's as much as saying that Thanatos could send the world back to the Stone Age. Well, that's what they intend to do, according to the code message Yashuko gave you. That phrase, the blind work in Tetuan, what can that mean? I don't know. But our technical experts have calculated that the magnetic wave with which Thanatos plans to paralyze New York, London, and Moscow must be beamed from a spot in the triangle formed by Paris, Brebin, and Budapest. Our very best agents, including your brother, are there. And Tetuan's in Morocco, much further south. That's what she said. I heard it. The blind work in Tetuan, they die in Tetuan. There's another clue leading to Tetuan. A rug factory that employs blind men only. It belongs to a man called Thayer. Thayer, the champion archer? That's right. Found out anything? <laughs> no, in Tetuan, Thayer is considered a philanthropist who is above suspicion. Does this mean anything to you? Why, it's Ward. Well, what about it? Look again. Turn it over. You'll see. 
Ben Ahmed photo. That one. This Ben Ahmed has called your office three times in the last few days. Apparently, you pay any amount of money for you to do a plastic surgery operation. Well, Mr. Ben Ahmed will have to wait. I've got too many other... Just a moment. The telephone number that he gave us in Tetuan is not his own. It belongs to a certain Maya... Uh, uh, Rafis. Does that name mean anything to you? Absolutely nothing. Do you know this face? Oh, yes. Very attractive. She was in Monte Carlo when they tried to kidnap Yashuko the first time. Yes, then I saw her at the archery championships. From now on, you chase her. Who, me? Yes, you, Doctor. Any of our regular agents would be suspected in Tetuan, but not you. They want you there. You might like you there. Oh, no. I'm sorry, but this time you'll have to work it out for yourselves. I am a surgeon, not a secret agent. From now on, you're a reserve officer, a call to Her Majesty's active service. But I absolutely refuse. You have no choice, Lieutenant. You wouldn't want to spoil your good family name in front of a court martial. My guardian angel. I just happened to be here by chance. Tell me something. How did you know they wanted to kill you? I'm a lip reader. You forget I studied lip reading. I remember now. That's one of your accomplishments. All right, come on. This way. leave you now. Believe me. Mm. Have you forgotten that you still owe me a date? Don't you think it's too risky? When we're together, someone always gets killed. That makes it all the more exciting. <laughs> As you wish. But I have an appointment with Mr. Thayer. Oh, yes, I met him in Monte Carlo. Hmm. Well, he's giving a party in his palace. If you want to come, Mr. Thayer will be very glad. Yes, I'd love to. <laughs> I'll see you then. Yes? 
The attempt has been neutralized. It all went off on schedule. And Conrad? He'll be at the reception tonight. Good. What shall I transmit? Notify Alpha that the attempt succeeded. What if he discovers the truth? That's impossible, Kurt. Tetuan is my kingdom. Now that Connery has been lured into it, his trace will disappear for everybody. Even for Alpha. What are those subs doing there? Don't you think it's suspicious? Don't worry. There'll be no one near my yacht. I've already seen to it. They sail at dawn. Good. Nice to see you again. Thank you. One second. How lucky Maya asked you to come. I was going to get in touch with you to arrange a meeting. Oh, of course, the return game. I had no idea you were so interested in archery. No, I'm not. <laughs> it's your services as a plastic surgeon I'm interested in. Why? Would you like to have your features changed? Me? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm quite satisfied with my face, and with my nose also. No, <laughs> it's for a friend. He wants to become the exact double of another man. But for the time being, there's no need for you to understand. And of course, you can state your own price. For me, it's not a matter of money. It's primarily a matter of principle. We'll come to an agreement. You'll see. We'll have time to talk about it. Will you excuse me for a minute? I won't be long. I'm sure with so many beautiful girls round, you won't get bored. Thank you. No, thank you. Well, what have you done? Not very much. It's difficult. They're all afraid of Alpha. Idiots. Maybe they're right. After all, Alpha is powerful. Come in. There's a message from the yard. It's very urgent. It's from Alpha. He set the date. He wants me to join him immediately. Oh, what timing? It'll be the last time he gives me an order. I'll destroy him, and I'll be the head of Thanatos. It is very, very risky. Not for me. What about the girls? They may be dangerous witnesses. As soon as the operation is over, the yacht will blow up. With the girls aboard? Yes. Maya, too? It's inevitable. There must be no witnesses. Only you will share my secret. You know that you can trust me. Now let's go inside and see if we can convince them. Doctor, may I divert you from your meditation? A coincidence. I was just thinking of you. Oh, I'm flattered. Maya, 
Your life is in danger, in serious danger. Are you threatening me? No, certainly not, but I have just overheard a conversation between your Mr. Thayer and... Yes, I've seen few villas as beautiful as this one. It's quite splendid. Senor Mendoza. You're not going, are you? I was hoping to play a hand of chemin de fer with you. I don't gamble, Mr. Thayer. I only bet on winning horses. That's why you should stay. I have an important announcement to make. You can count me out there. I thought you had the voting majority. As far as I'm concerned, this meeting never happened. Let's drop it and leave things as they are. I shouldn't advise that. I want to know whether you are with me or with Alpha. I warn you, be careful how you answer. You can put yourselves in a dangerous spot. It's a lot more dangerous to listen to you. In a few days, Alpha will be dead. But no one will know except us. Within hours, I'll have an exact double for Alpha. Everything will go on as if nothing happened. But with this difference, the new Alpha will be my man. It's going to blow up soon, maybe even tomorrow, with you on board. <laughs> you read too many novels by Fleming. I assure you, it's true. Your life is in grave danger. I'll keep everything under control somehow. If my information is right, you'll be indebted to me. Of course. Why does Mr. Thayer hire only blind people in his rug factory? I... I don't know. I've never been in there. Only blind people are allowed to go inside. Excuse me. Stand by the bed, sea station. Aye, aye, sir. عندي الفلوس اللي خدنا هو عشان شكرا السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام ودينا فين دلوقتي to each other by the shoulder and come with me. Listen, all of you. Here you will weave rugs. Don't worry. It's a simple, easy job. You'll get your food and your family will get your pay. Each one of you will be placed at the loop. 
and will begin with an easy task. With a little goodwill, you will learn quickly. And now get to work. Working with radioactive material, it will kill you. What is it that you mean by that? You are working with radioactive materials, do you understand? It will kill you. They're trying to murder us, that is why we have the souls. We must go. is quite good. However, it dates from the time of the Crusades. Dr. Connery. You're an extraordinary man, Doctor. Imaginative and resourceful. It's too bad you prefer to play on the opposing team. Too bad from your point of view. Yes, but it is my point of view that counts. If you'd done me the small favor I asked, there would have been no such complications as these. Now you'll have to operate anyway, under less favorable circumstances. You understand? Well, what else can I do? Here is your patient, doctor. Everything's ready for you. I want to be generous. In return for your services, your life. Kathy. Call all the girls. I've got to warn them. I've just learned that we're going to have to fight for our lives. Theirs decided to blow up the yacht with all of us aboard. Come on.
It's not going to be easy, but it can be done. One operation is all that's needed. You can begin now, Doctor. But don't try any tricks. From where I am, I can hear his heart beating. If it stops, so will yours. You can go. Now you're going to sleep. Just relax. You're tired. You want to rest. That's right. Relax. You have nothing to fear. Good. As soon as Connery has completed the operation, I want him eliminated. Hello. Look up here. Follow my instructions. You won't have a moment of peace till it's all finished. Now go. Thank <laughs> you. 
factory. He's heading there. Yeah, we can't worry about that right now. We've got to find Thanatos' headquarters. Now, the radioactive rugs were made at the factory. Where were they sent? I really never knew that, but once I heard something about a place near Munich. You disobeyed my orders. I would have quitted by a rank amateur. I say, I'm for throwing Beta out of the organization. This time, I'll hold it. And it's loaded. Am I supposed to drink that? I'd be obliged if you would. Water. You could have offered me a glass of champagne. Drink. Continue our business without further interruption. Zero hour is very close now. Every detail has been meticulously. <laughs> right on the second. But you were poisoned. A Moroccan drug. It conditions the body against poison. Infallible when you're bitten by a snake. Mrs. Meyer. May I? How do you do? I would think of choosing this very place for my honeymoon. What absolute rotten luck. If Consuelo hears that I was here and with you, then this time it's sure she's going to kill me. <laughs> anyway, I followed your instructions. Come on. Well, I wonder why Neil sent Hey, there he is. Hey, 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 hey how are you, fellas? <laughs> What's going on, Neil? Go on now, John. How does it happen you asked us to come so suddenly? I mean, what's going on? If it's for a championship, yeah, we're all you for it. Have you organized a tournament? Well, what's cooking, Neil? Come on and tell us. <laughs> Give us yeah. a dope on it. I'll send word to you all at the Hotel Continental. When everything is ready, all right? Bye. 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 All right. Is everything ready? Yes, the long-range Geiger counter is installed under the front seat. There. You see it? Yes. And the rugs. What have you found out? From Tetuan, they're shipped in lead crates. Then they're picked up here by an agency which transports them along Highway 7. Where does Highway 7 go? It goes to Istanbul, over 2,000 miles away. The longest road in the world. Then we're all set. Oh, well, by the way, uh, don't you want to come along with us? You know that I want to, but there's Consuelo. Her wedding's been spoiled, but you know what? I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> Attention, everyone. We're launching the magnetic wave. Get to your station. Pull the switches. Keep 
right over Highway 7. The radioactivity of the rugs will lead us to their base. Dr. Connery is nearing our position in a helicopter. He's probably trying to find us with a Geiger counter. As soon as we've beamed the magnetic wave, he'll crash. If he gets here before that, I want to talk to him. Go. Is. Listen, let's fly lower so that we can get above the castle. Their base may well be underground. You're probably right at that. Otherwise, the signal wouldn't be that strong. Here we go. There, on the left. All right, let's land. The directional elevator indicates that's the spot. I'm beginning the countdown. Begin countdown. 120 seconds. The warning signal. It's Connery. He's found the secret entrance. Such a curious man. I'll satisfy his curiosity. Let him in. Vibrators. Alternate vibrators inserted. 83. 82. 
Magnetic intensity at concentration level. 27. Make ready magnetic wave. 25. Magnetic wave ready to function. 43. Hello, London. Extension 142. I want to speak with Commander Cunningham immediately. It's terribly urgent. Never mind who I am. Hurry. Five. Four. Three. Two. A castle on a hill. But how far from Munich? One. The headquarters are 20 miles from... Hello, hello. Hello. We've been cut off. I'm wondering... I'm happy to have you as my guest again. I'll show you how the operation works on our anti-magnetic equipment. Quite neat, don't you think? And that's the last favor I can do you. I only allowed you to live because I wanted you to witness my success. I've got what I wanted without your help. Take him away. The magnetic wave has blocked it. Aren't you a champion archer, too? No, sorry about that. I'm a pretty good fighter, though, and I guess that can be useful, too. Magnetic explosive. Can I set the dial? Sure you can. Good. We'll cover you.
Gordon, at your own game, Doctor. before the tower blows up. Oh. Okay, Connery, okay. You were fantastic. You even made my best agents look like beginners. Oh, I shouldn't think so, Commander. I was lucky, that's No, it. you're too modest. You should have seen your brother's face, Doctor, when he heard of it. As a matter of fact, if you happen to have a few days free, I was thinking I'd be happy to have you back in the reserves with the rank of Major. You would? What was I saying? That you have to return to London immediately. Isn't that right, Commander? You remember? Hmm. Yes, of course. I must return immediately. Too bad. Ready, girls? Let's go! <laughs> 